Research advances in acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, are resulting in better and safer treatments that are improving the quality of life for people affected by AML today. AML is a cancer of the bone marrow and blood that gets worse quickly if not treated. So it's important to start treatment as soon as possible after diagnosis. The type and amount of treatment needed depends on the subtype of AML, the genetic makeup of the leukemia and your overall health. As with any medication or therapy, you may experience side effects when you begin AML treatment. A side effect is an unwanted or unexpected reaction to a medication or treatment. Most side effects lessen or go away once your body adjusts to treatment or when your treatment ends. Your doctor may also be able to prescribe medications that can help control some side effects. Typically, AML treatment is divided into two parts or phases. The first phase is called induction therapy, and the second is called consolidation therapy. Chemotherapy is the most common type of treatment used during both phases. Chemotherapy uses powerful drugs to destroy fast-growing cancer cells, which can also damage normal cells that are fast-growing too. With chemotherapy, the most common side effects include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, temporary hair loss, mouth sores, rashes, and numbness or tingling in the fingers and toes. Advances in our understanding of the genetics of AML have led to new targeted therapies. These targeted drugs work by attacking cancer cells directly without damaging normal, healthy cells. Venetoclax, mitostorin, and inosininib are examples of targeted drugs that may be used when specific genetic mutations or changes are present. For people who cannot tolerate intensive chemotherapy, these oral medications may be used with lower dose chemotherapy. The most common side effects of targeted drugs include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, headaches, fluid retention, and low blood cell counts, which can make you open to infections. Most people with AML go into remission after induction therapy, but more treatment is usually needed to prevent the AML from returning. Treatment during this time is called consolidation therapy. In addition to chemotherapy, a bone marrow transplant may be recommended during the consolidation phase of treatment. A bone marrow or stem cell transplant replaces damaged bone marrow cells with healthy bone marrow cells from a matched donor. People who have had a bone marrow transplant may experience side effects that come from receiving another person's stem cells, such as higher risk of infection and graft versus host disease, or GVHD for short. GVHD happens when your donor's stem cells attack your body's cells causing inflammation, which is possible even if your donor is a 100% match. There are two types of GVHD known as acute and chronic, both of which can range from mild to severe and even life-threatening in some cases. Older people undergoing a bone marrow transplant are at a higher risk of developing GVHD, but there are medications available to prevent and manage GVHD. For some people, taking part in a clinical trial may be the best treatment choice. Speak to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada if you'd like to learn more about clinical trials and their potential side effects. While side effects often decrease over time, it's also common to experience long-term side effects, which can last for months or years after treatment, like fatigue, overwhelming exhaustion that won't go away with rest or a good night's sleep, 
Cancer-related fatigue is one of the most common treatment side effects. Some people will experience what are called late effects or medical problems that show up years after treatment, such as heart disease, thyroid problems, or fertility problems, meaning you cannot become pregnant or make a woman pregnant when you want to. It's important to ask about, understand, and discuss the short-term, long-term, and late side effects that you may experience or are experiencing with your doctor's treatment recommendations. No one should feel that they simply have to put up with ongoing pain or discomfort because of a cancer treatment. There are many ways to help control side effects, such as taking medication to prevent nausea and diarrhea, maintaining a healthy diet, getting regular moderate exercise, resting often and sleeping seven to eight hours a night, washing your hands often or using hand sanitizer, and avoiding contact with people who are sick. It's important to remember that you'll have a better quality of life if you stay connected, build a network of support, and communicate openly with your healthcare team. You are not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand AML, your treatment options, and potential side effects, and manage the road that lies ahead.